put on your happy face. It's Happy Meal Transformers time. This is the new Happy Meal box, by the way. Hello Kitty! For the girls, their, watch, their wrist watches. <laughs> so, really Hasbro went for the boxes, which are very classic and iconic. They didn't really put a lot on them, for these Happy Meal boxes, other than this punch-out shield that tells you to play hide-and-seek with it, or a suggestion to play capture the flag, though not necessarily with the shield. Just get out and play, kids, so you're not loafing around inside, getting fat. And happy meals, because they're trying to be healthy with the apple dippers and everything. And so there's Bumblebee, Optimus, Prime, and Megatron. Interesting thing about this is that it's using the Generations kind of art. Now Hasbro does make these art solicitations so that if, um, so that if a company wants to make like baseballs or something with the Transformers logo on them, you know, baseballs, tape, placemats, uh, kids' dining wear, you know, bowls and cups and stuff, they can use that art style from the um, from the that's from the packaging. So on this Happy Meals, you've got the very Generations Becker card, and in the middle, the I thought this was interesting. It has the um, Hunt for the Decepticon style card in the mid, going through the middle there. So you got some red and some yellow card on your Happy Meal box. Okay. So I so Megatron comes with an accessory. There's a little missile, which is really, really powerful. I mean, it's not a choking hazard, which is nice because it's so large and so wide, but it's spring loaded. And hopefully this won't just sort of slots into the side there. You've got a claw that just kind of fidgets around. It kind of fidgets a bit when you press the Decepticon button. Anyway, these don't transform, but they are excellent, like, old-school action figures based on the um, new movie stylings. Some glossy plastic, true, but you've got the kneecaps, you got the tank treads, you got the bucket head with um, movie stylings. Even red and gold paint apps, a little black paint apple on the chest. And you got three points of articulation, so Megatron can totally sit down if he wants to. Or he can rock. It's just enough for a kid to be having fun with this toy. Okay. That's his prime toy articulation. They're pretty stiff when you get up to this top point. But yeah, you can have Optimus sit down too, or just run however you want him to be, and he is, he's got a, quite a few action, more action features than Megatron has, sadly. I mean, I love Megatron's projectile weapon, I like all of his sculpting details, but Prime takes it to another notch on what he has. Um, he's got a flip, you can flip back, he's got a cannon like this, right there, sculpted like his movie cannon, and then you can flip it forward, nice, so now you got this semi- it, I think it's a little translucent, but it, it's barely translucent. You can tell in person. Uh, so you've got the, you've got his Energon axe. That's nice. But you, as you notice, his eyes aren't painted. They are actually light piped. There you go. And as I put my hand over there, his eyes go away. So he's got some light piping on the very top of his head. So, and his actual action feature is this switch right here. Flip it on, and, ah, blinding red light. It's amazing. Look at that. I don't know how long the battery's going to last on this thing, but, do that as a super bright light, and I suggest you run out and get this thing. The Fallen shall rise again. Not today, Decepticon. I'm burning more. I am Optimus Prime. Create the forest battle using all the Decepticons, Starscream, Megatron, Blackout, and Optimus Prime. You can recreate the forest battle pretty well between these guys. I'll take you all on.